In 1749, Benjamin Franklin circulated a pamphlet entitled Proposals Relating to the Education of Youth in Pennsylvania, and in 1750, the cartographer Louis Evans donated books to a library for the proposed institution. The institution became the University of Pennsylvania, and its library now boasts more than 7 million volumes, a vast digital collection, and millions of manuscript items. The library is now the premier research collection of the region and a destination for scholars worldwide. And, since March the 1st, 2013, it is the home of the Schoenberg Institute for Manuscript Studies. The Schoenberg Institute for Manuscript Studies is the culmination of decades of philanthropy by Larry Schoenberg and his wife Barbara Brisdell. Knowing and working with Larry and Barbara uh, for so many years, I think it's safe to say that they have three uh, passions. Uh, technology, uh, the collection, their collection, the kind of material that, they're, that they like to collect, and this willingness, this, this, this passion for sharing um, their interests uh, with others really has culminated in the Schoenberg Institute for Manuscript Studies. At its core are the extraordinary manuscripts that Larry has collected over a period of 40 years and which he and Barbara have now donated to the university. The Schoenberg collection takes us from the, the world that, that Larry built to the world that built Larry, if you will. And that world dates from really antiquity. And, and Larry is the one that, that saw that and traced it out so he could better understand himself and better understand the world that we all live in. They span magic and science, astronomy and astrology, alchemy and chemistry, numerology and mathematics, remedies and pharmacology, and many other subjects. They contain Carolingian charters, Renaissance books on ciphers, and medieval encyclopedias of knowledge. And they come from many different traditions, the Christian, Jewish, Muslim, and they extend to the Far East, as far as China and Japan. The Schoenberg manuscripts are a stunning addition to the extraordinary primary resources available to scholars and students in Philadelphia. For an undergraduate, there is no possible experience that can measure up to that notion of holding in your hands a 13th century Bible, possibly a large Bible made of 60 sheep, a whole flock of sheep, the weight of history in their hands, the feel of the parchment, the smell of the parchment. It's quite extraordinary. And it's a transformative experience. No undergraduate who's had that experience will ever look at a book in the same way. They'll never feel the same way about books again. Larry was a successful software developer and his interest in technology led him to realize the power of the internet to transform the study of medieval manuscripts. Larry understood long before many other people that the digital age is not a threat to manuscript studies. In fact, they're complementary. And the digital image only increases the aura of the original and its capacity to transform people's lives. As a result, in 1996, he founded the Schoenberg Center for Electronic Text and Image. The Schoenberg Center for Electronic Text and Images greatest achievement is the mastery of the most difficult component of digitization, which is imaging. We have, through uh, the adoption of standards and techniques and through the acquisition of sophisticated camera equipment, been able to piece this together uh, into a production unit that has resulted in over two million images being captured in the past decade. Larry's own research project is the Schoenberg Database of Manuscripts. Apart from Barbara, the reason why Larry gets up in the morning is the database. He lives and breathes manuscript data. If someone came to you and told you that they wanted to produce a database that would locate all the world's manuscripts produced before 1600, you would tell them that they were crazy. It's a good thing that crazy never stopped Larry. The Schoenberg Database is the largest repository of manuscript data in the world, containing over 200,000 records and representing 90,000 manuscripts. The Schoenberg Institute for Manuscript Studies is a think tank for the study of manuscripts in the digital age. It brings medieval manuscripts, modern technologies, and people together for the advancement of learning and our understanding of our cultural and intellectual heritage in the 21st century, not just at Penn, but for the world. What's exciting about the Schoenberg Institute here is the access that we're going to provide. 
We have an extraordinary reading room where scholars will be able to come and really work with these materials. We have spaces where they'll be able to teach using these collections. We'll also have exhibits that will open up entirely new avenues of true scholarship, learning, and community. The problem with the actual rare book materials themselves is that they are only accessible when the library itself is open. For a rare book room, that's normally nine to five, five days a week. A student, an undergraduate, needs to be working on a medieval manuscript at three o'clock in the morning. They need to be able to read the actual text. They need to be able to magnify it, to look at specific letters, to learn how the scribe worked. That they need to do on their own time. And then when they've spent three hours in the early hours of the morning doing that, they come back in the afternoon, perhaps having slept in, and they can actually look at the original manuscript itself. There's nothing like that, that interaction of the two things. Under one roof, you both have a dedication to the original material and to its digital manifestation, and that is somewhat unusual. Um, however, you know, in an increasingly networked digital ecosystem, there are digital humanist labs uh, around the country and around the world, at Stanford, at Harvard, at King's College London, at Cambridge, and it's with those institutions, our peer institutions, that we will be increasingly engaged and really transforming a field, which is extremely exciting. Digital technologies allow us to transcend ownership, to discover intellectual substance, to discover relationships that otherwise would remain hidden from view. And uh, that really has become the working model for everything I do now with uh, all of our rare Judaica collections. How do they speak to and connect to other collections and other interests around the world? And what can I do to facilitate that, that open access and that process of discovery? The, the satisfaction, the excitement uh, that I have uh, as a result of this gift and a, a, of the creation of the Schoenberg Institute for Manuscript Studies and what it means to Penn, uh, I, I just, it's, it's, it's been unbelievable.